get the token and from the token get the user and put that user into the request object again so that it goes to next resources let's say it goes to the product route or some other route I, like I told you it's a it's an interceptor it's a road from there is a one single road from where the message is coming this middleware is in the server side that middleware was the uh, that interceptor was in the client side mm -hmm. right so in the server home in the server side this interceptor will come JWT interceptor whatever this middleware we call it this will take the message from the message it will take the token out of the header right and then all of this strategy that we discussed we do like we will ask the JSON web token to decode it and get the user object out of it once you get the user object put that user object into the message back not in the message basically in the request in the request object put that message uh, put that user object right so then that request comes to the let's say if you wanted product so it will go to the product and then in the product controller let's say you will check okay if if my request has user and what was the id of that user and what are the products he has purchased let's say you can do all of those so for that customer, you can do many things then. Once you have a customer ID or user ID, you can fetch his orders or anything, right? But how do you get customer ID? So customer ID is coming as a form of token, right? So in the token, you have it and you validate it here. So basically, there are two requirements. One is how to log in. One is how to revisit, how to validate that this, this person who is coming to the my server is valid. So there are two concerns. So therefore, any question before I erase this? So therefore, Passport has two different middleware that, that you can use. It has many middleware, but I'm just saying there are two middleware that we are interested of. One is Passport iPhone local. Another is Passport iPhone JWT. So if you see those, uh, they should be mentioning in the in their website at somewhere in the just search for JWT. In this file, you can find right. So you have to Google it basically. They have the independent uh, uh, NPM package for that. So passport JWT. If you search, yes. you got it. Mm. Yeah. And then what about the other one? Passport local. Just search for that one also. So passport js dot org is their website. Passport js dot org. Passport local mongoos. <sighs> Yeah, they have passport many. Local token. Yeah, they have a lot of, right? Yeah. So we will focus on Passport Local and Passport JWT at high level. And um, they have some names uh, we'll confirm. But basically the, the high level concept is Passport Local is what? It is going to your local database to local get the user. user. Yeah. To get the user object. Okay, you got it. Yeah, Passport hyphen local, this one. And see, they have a lot of uh, uh, plugins. Passport Twitter, Passport JWT, JWT that we will use. And they should have uh, others also, other social media, Facebook, Google, everybody. So if you integrate your authentication with social media, then you will end up using Facebook if you want to connect with Facebook, like I discussed all of that flow in, the, in my previous class, right? So this is nice. You can use all of them. And they are all free. So for now, what we will use is Passport Local for our local login first time when you want to do, you have to check in your database that is local. And then we will use Passport JWT in order to validate the JSON web token. So in our next class, when we will do coding, I'll ask you to do this homework is to just, just check them out. The, the flow, how they do, what are the function, how do you call it, so that you'll be a little bit uh, prepared. So we'll use this to, uh, plugins and and in the server side in the server side we will create another folder called as middleware so far we have not written any middleware i guess we'll create the middleware this time new middleware we'll call it passport.js maybe we'll put some data there uh, the code to do all both to do local and to do the jwt that is one thing and second thing is uh, this is the first thing we'll do middleware and similarly in the client side we will create a folder called as HTTP interceptor. HTTP interceptor in the client side and we will introduce one HTTP interceptor called as auth header interceptor let's say. 
or header interceptor dot js ts and there we will do all the interceptor logic so this is client side interceptor this is server side middleware that we will write and here goes passport related stuff here goes all angular stuff which takes the request and puts the token so is it clear the entire flow right so this is what they will expect you from your interview and i know this is a 3 hours discussion but you have to try to uh, concise it as overall overall but since you know now the in depth discussion that we had now you should have good confidence to discuss this thing right you can now discuss to anywhere else and how i try to remember it 